Within this video, we're gonna go ahead and walk through how to download Twinmotion. Now, a couple things about this. One, we're gonna be using PC, and two, we're also going to be doing this through the Epic Games Launcher. So if you don't have the Epic Games Launcher, we're gonna go ahead and talk about installing that one as well. Now, if you don't already have the Epic Games Launcher, let's go ahead and just walk through that. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come to this website up here at the very top. We'll go ahead and leave this in the description below as well, so you'll have that. And then go ahead and create a sign-in. You wanna go ahead and get yourself an account. Um, if you already have the account, go ahead and just download the Epic Game Launcher again if you don't already have it. Uh, once you actually have your account set up, just come back to the site and then just come down here a little ways. And what you're gonna do is look for this one right here. So this download launcher, if you've already got it, well, hey, all you got to do is go ahead and open it. Once you got that started, you will notice I've got a little download happening down here in the bottom left. And all we need to do is just go ahead and open this one. So in one second, boom. So let's go ahead and just minimize this. Go ahead and bring this over. And this is our actual launcher. So you can go just double click on this guy and this will actually install the launcher onto your machine. Now I already have this, so I'm not going to go through this, but you quite literally just walk through the install steps and you'll be good to go. Now, once the Epic Games Launcher has actually installed on your machine, you will most likely have a little icon on your desktop. You can go and just double click on that. Um, if that's not there, I'm just gonna hit the Windows key on the keyboard and type in Epic, and you will find your Epic Games Launcher right here. So there's that one. Now, the other thing that we're gonna wanna go ahead and do is that once we get that Epic Game Launcher up and running is we wanna go ahead and sign in because you're gonna need to sign in the first time. Now, you should see a screen that looks something like this, and down here in the bottom left is where you can actually sign in. So go ahead and make that a thing. Now, to get to Twin Motion and actually download it, we wanna make sure that we were in the Unreal Engine section right here on the far left, and then we wanna make sure that we go up here where it says Twin Motion while we're inside the engine area, okay? So I'll go ahead and just click on Twin Motion up here at the very top, and you'll get a screen that looks probably something like this. Now, you are probably not going to see a button that says Launch. It's probably gonna say something like Download. And the question is, which one do we wanna download? Well, if you look right here, we have a little drop down that will allow us to download a specific version. Now, it's not really gonna matter which one that you grab. Now, I'm gonna do the latest and greatest up here, so 2022.2, it's a lot of twos. And you'll see that I've got one, two, three different versions in here. We've got EDU and Trial. They're all exactly the same. The only difference between them is how you can actually use them. So this is the Twin Motion license site. So I'm just gonna scroll down here a little ways. Now, I'm using the free trial which is awesome, it works great for educational. You can also get the educational license. There's a small difference between each of these. You'll notice them right here. So we have this full resolution and then we also have an installation wide license for educators. So it's up to you which one you use. They have the exact same features, so it's up to you. Um, also, there is a commercial license. If your students decide to go ahead and use this to try and make a little bit of money, this is what they should be prepared to go ahead and shell out, which is actually not too bad for what it is. So once you've actually figured out which one you wanna go ahead and download, go ahead and make that a thing. So it'll look very similar to something like this and it'll say install. So then you'll just hit the install button and go ahead and let it install. So I'm gonna go back to this one right here. And for me, I'm just gonna get hit the launch button and I'll show you what Twin Motion looks like once it's actually opened. When Twin Ocean opens for the very first time, you're actually gonna get a big dialog box, which I don't have because I've opened it multiple times. And it's gonna ask you what kind of control scheme that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and use the default one. I would highly suggest just using the default one. If you ever wanna change it, you can very easily come up to this little gear button right up here at the very top, and you can change it by clicking here and then choose which one you wanna use. I'm gonna leave it on Twin Motion Editor. By the way, pro tip, if you are using like a pad or a touch up here, you can change it as well. I highly, highly suggest that you just use a keyboard if given the chance and that you have a three button mouse. Super, super helpful because if you look up here, you'll notice that we have three button mouse controls. So that's what's gonna be important. Now, that you've actually got Twin Motion up and running, I do want you to open up something and take a look around just to kind of get used to navigating, go on a bit of a scavenger hunt kind of a thing. So up here in the very top left, you'll notice that it says file. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on that. And I'm gonna come down here to demo scenes and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the lake house retreat. Now, give it a few moments. This will take a little while. Uh, it's actually a, a pretty decent kind of little scene. It's actually really beautiful as well. And it showcases a lot of the amazing stuff inside of Twin Motion. So go up to file, go to demo scenes and open up the lake house retreat and I will return once it's actually loaded. With the Lake House Retreat scene now open, let's actually talk about navigating around inside of your world. There's a couple of pro tips that I wanna throw at you that are gonna help 
a lot. So for those of you that are taking notes, pay attention to what we're doing here. And by all means, keep an eye on everything that's up here at the top too, because we're going to basically be talking about this stuff. So first and foremost, if you want to actually select an object, you can just left mouse click. I'm going to select this object. You'll notice that there's like a little orange highlight around it. So perfect. We know that that's actually selected. Now, if I want to zoom into that object, uh, the easiest way to do this <laughs> is to drop an F-bomb. So what we want to go ahead and do is hit the F key on the keyboard and focus. So with that one selected, I'll hit F. And then boom, I snap right to it, which is great. Next thing I want to do is actually just kind of orbit around this thing. So wherever I click on the actual anything inside of here, so I'm just going to left mouse click and drag, I will actually orbit around where I just clicked. So that is very, very handy to understand. Now, if I use the middle mouse, I can just pan. So I'm just holding it down. You can see I can pan left and right and up and down, which is awesome. And if I hold down the right mouse, I can actually just kind of look from one place to another. I'm just like turning my head, just turn all the way around, look all the way up, look all the way down, just to kind of get used to where you're going. Now, we're not going to talk about the move keys up here, the W, A, S, and D, or the Q and the E, just because they're there and you can play with them to kind of see what you're looking at. But I will give you a pro tip about them. Whatever you're looking at, so I'm going to turn my camera, and I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to look at this boat. If I'm looking directly at this boat and I hold down the W key, you'll notice it'll just move to it which is really easy to deal with, right? So if I turn and look up at the sky and hold down the W key, I'll look and head down that direction. If I look down, let's say over here at this house and I hold down the W key, I'll just move straight for it. So that's really, 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 really helpful. Now, the other pro tip is this one right here. This is the speed at which we're actually moving within the world. So the keys one through six will allow you to move very slow, low numbers, and very, very fast with the high numbers. And to get an idea of how fast we're actually moving, I'm going to show you another little thing inside the UI. So Again, for those of you that are taking notes, check this out. I'm going to move all the way over here to the far right, and you'll notice there's this little eyeball. I'm going to go ahead and click on that eyeball, and then I'm going to come down to the second icon. It looks like a tachometer, and as I hover over it, it says speed. If I click on that, you'll notice at speed six, I will be moving about the speed of an airplane. Big worlds, real easy to get around. And if I want to move at the insect speed, like I'm underneath a microscope, you can move very, very slowly. So there you have it. There is how you can actually get Twin Motion by downloading the Epic Games Launcher, downloading the version that you want to go ahead and use, and a little bit about navigation so you can get from place to place once you've actually got Twin Motion open. So if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, or confusion you need cleared up so that you can continue to create, just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you when I can.